Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout and this time it's using the May Kit Planetarium and I have three add-ons and I'm just going to show you some stuff that I pulled out. I pulled out some tweets, some little star wood veneers and some washi tape, some from last month and the month before's kit, some twine, that aqua twine that I love so much. I even took out those uh, snap stickers and the ribbon that my friend gave to me. I'm going to have them all used up before I have the new ones purchased. And then this is what I'm keeping all my embellishments in, in that big dish. And I'm going to keep that really up close. And then I did take out a couple of inks. One is uh, the mid-tone Tide Ploof, Tide Ploof, <laughs> Tide Pool from Hero Arts. And then the other one is Stampin' Up. Coastal Cabana and I just showed you that there's a coordinating cardstock and then I pulled out a couple of stamps but I'm only going to use the Kaiser Craft the grunge one and then that mask right there is called um, Punchinella and it is from Crafters Workshop so that's what I'm going to be using I'm going to be scrapbooking pictures of my grandson and for that I pulled out these papers the cross stitch one is Ellie Studio, You and Me, Lovely Stripes, and the navy blue one is Lucky Charm, Dear Lizzy, Falling Star. I absolutely love those two papers together. I love how it looks. And then I have my cardstock background and then the cardstock to make mat my photo. And I took out those basic gray letters that we gotten last month and also the Ellie or the Heidi Swap teal letters and that's what I'm going to end up using. So I'm just going through trying to decide which photos I'm going to use. At first I think I'm going to use two but I'm just going to use the one and while I'm deciding I'm just going to get something done because I already know what I want to do with that mask. So I'll just get that started and while I'm thinking whether I want to use one or two photos. So I'm going to use that Coastal Cabana ink and I'm just going to ink up a whole border at the top. And I love, I love masks. I mean, it's one of my most probably used things. Um, when I started doing scrapbooking process video, I said that I had all these masks that I never used and now I can, you know, say that I use those masks all the time so that's good now I got to find something else in my scrapbook room that I say I never use and kind of get that uh, used up so I decided uh, I decide on that photo of my grandson it was taken when we um, were on vacation there in Quebec and he's just so stinking adorable so I took um, I matted it on that cabana, coastal cabana cardstock and then I cut a strip out of that Lucky Charm paper and then I just cut two little strips to go at the top and the bottom of the page or the photo because I don't want to waste that cross stitch pattern paper whatsoever. I absolutely love it and then I'm going to put two uh, strips of that ribbon at the top and the bottom of the photo and I kind of look at those basic gray letters at first, but they really don't, I mean, they're a teal, but they're a lighter one. So it really doesn't go with the page. So I decide against it. And this is where I pull out the Heidi Swap letters. And at first I, my title is just going to be so cute. And as I'm pulling out the letters and looking at you know the the photo and stuff and I and I thought to myself you're such a little heartbreaker <laughs> like you just my heart just breaks with I mean with love every time I I look at you so that's what the title of my page is going to be I'm going to change my mind and now I'm looking for all the letters to write heartbreaker so now all of a sudden my title goes from a little spot on my page to a huge Thing on my page and I had a question uh, on one of my YouTube videos and the and I, I'm sorry I forget who it was but one of the ladies asked 
if I go by with a sketch or I just go with the flow and I just go with the flow. I just start cutting and you know I take out the supplies that I want but I don't know what the page is going to look like at all and as a lot of times it totally goes in a different way than what I even when I start. So it, it just kind of goes with um, I guess with how I feel and you know with the first thing that you do it kind of determines everything else that you do if that makes any sense like if I would have put that star border anywhere else then it would have changed how the page would have went. So then I added some of that washi tape at the top and the bottom of the page and it's that lovely um, aqua or teal washi that we got in a kit either last month or the month before. I've been using it so much and then I pulled out some of those I think they're pink paisley uh, hearts and you put ink over top and when you wipe it off the ink it's kind of um, it's it resists the ink so it's I love it like I just I think this is my third packages of the hearts that I've bought absolutely love them and every time that I place an order I see you know if they're in stock and, and I'll got I'll grab a package before they don't make them anymore so I took out three of those hearts and the biggest one I didn't like that it was empty in the middle because I didn't like that you could see the background so there was one heart that fit right inside and I inked it up with the tide blue ink from Hero Arts and then the outer heart and the other two hearts I inked it up with the Coastal Cabana from Stampin' Up and those two inks together coordinate so well it's like they were meant to work together. So now I took some ATG and I just ran a strip at the top and the bottom and glued down my um, ribbon and then I took the whole title and tried it at the bottom of the page and I didn't like it so I moved it back up to the top of the page and I looked at those Kelly Perky letters but they were totally off they didn't coordinate whatsoever so this is why I love the white ones because you take them you put them on wax paper and you take the color that you have. So I, I had that Coastal Cabana and I knew that was going to coordinate because that's what I inked up the background with. That's what the ribbon is, you know, is and the cardstock. So I knew it was going to coordinate well. So then I just inked up those white letters. And so now it's going to match my page perfectly. So I took out my this to that and this one here is not the dot adhesive, it's the permanent um, straight glue or anyway it's, it's, it's not dots, it's just a permanent strip and you can't see it through the letters so that's great. I love that I'm able to you know put on the back of those letters and you're not going to see it. And then I just stamped a few of those clouds and that stamp set was an Amy Tangerine stamp set that came in this month's kit and I'm going to add the rest of my title. I stamped out a few clouds and I don't end up using most of them but and I decide to put that heart in the center of the A for heartbreaker. I stamped three little clouds at the top of that little cluster and at the bottom there was one stamp that says I solemnly swear I am up to no good <laughs> and I figure sooner or later it's going to happen. He is a little boy and you already can tell like he's just waiting so he can just get up and go. So now I'm just there was an awkward gap right there and I'm just trying to figure out what I can put. So I just cut a little piece of a doily and I kind of put it in behind the heart and then I took one of those labels that were from the Snap Collection and I just made a little cluster right there. And then I took some of that aqua twine that I love so much and I just balled it up and put it with that cluster. And I found some enamel dots that match the page perfectly. I cut out one of those little 
clouds to make a little cluster on the bottom. And I also took out some of those tweet birds. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to put them at every little cluster with a little piece of twine to kind of, you know, signify the flight. Now my battery's going to die, so you're going to miss me adding twine to one bird, I think. And then that was it, though. I just added some twine and then added um, some of the Heidi Swap glaze that she has that, or yeah Heidi Swap inks that you can spray on the pages the mint green one and here are a few close-ups oh and yes I added those enamel dots so that's it the page is done thanks for watching bye